Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. How are you? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Your daily grump, help you along your way. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is, it's for you. And welcome to the Daily Grump with me, Wingy Snee Bake, Mashaki Quake, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman, also Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome, all you. Beautiful divine beings. Right here, too. How girls are with you? Hey, 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 it's a Friday. Freaky Friday. Let your freak flag fly, Friday. Oh, no, free flowing Friday. I don't know. What's that for you? Coming at you a little bit later because I decided to, to zoom into a Mrs. Potts today. Loving that. It's giving me a boost. And uh, beautiful. I hope I'm sharing those positive vibes to the strength and our vulnerabilities. So beautiful. Cindy Eddington was the host today and I got to one yesterday with Jennifer Rogers. And then on Tuesday I was in one with Marie Bailey. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beings. Just loving it. I'm loving it. How'd your Halloween go? I had three kids knock on the door. Well, they came at once, so it was only once and I opened the door. So I'm sorry, I couldn't afford any candy this year. I want to make the candy apples again one year. And I'll put my business card on there so the parents know where they come from. But, uh, anyway, so. hmm. I took my costume off pretty much right after my kids come in. Okay, they see me and I can take this off. <laughs> make them off my face and the hair is still all like Bleh! wild. Now I'm like all more witchy now. There's still um Sparkles flying everywhere, too. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Did you have a good time? My kids, my kids will be home. My children will be home today. They're home for the weekend. Yay. Love that. Oh. My baby, baby boy, his birthday is on Tuesday. The fifth. He's going to be 16. So, I have a little, little celebration for him here this weekend. Six. I can't believe it. My baby, baby boy. And look at, oh my goodness, we got an affirmation, reflection, inspiration. We're doing three again today. All right, here we go. Let's get on with it. Self-compassion is simply giving the same kindness to ourselves that we would give to others. Christopher Germer. Reach out to a loved one you trust for, to, for advice. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. And still, those trusted loved ones, they, you trust them because they've been there. Their their words line up with their actions, right? They, what they say and what they do is congruent. I don't know. What is that for you? That's a treat. That's that self-expression, right? How do I come across? Like, I feel like this is, this is you know, I want to show that I'm all wild, but yet I'm all like, okay. I don't know. What is that for me? <laughs> Right, maybe asking them, does my self-expression match who I truly am? Like, as you, you know, how is it that you see me? What do you think is the good qualities of me? Sometimes we have a hard time seeing that in ourselves. Sometimes we just keep dogging on ourselves. We go, okay, what is the good in me? Okay, like right now I'm just feeling like, wow, what do you see as a strength in me? Now, again, it's not, it's not about what they think. This is to help to stimulate your own thoughts and in your inside and see what resonates with you. It's not to take them word for word. Okay, or anything like that, because it what matters the most important opinion of us that matters the most is ourselves, right? It's our own opinion of ourselves that matters most because we're the ones that got to keep looking at ourselves in the mirror. Can you look at yourself in the mirror? So those those things are inside job, and you know somebody can join us inside there, but we have to open up. They won't come in without 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 us asking. Free well beings, we're free well done, sir. Free well done. You want to be miserable? Hey, you're free will to choose to do so. I don't know. What is that for you? You're giving that same kindness and compassion to yourself. Or you know, blah, 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 right? Think about that. If you write that down, what would you say to a friend? What would you say to somebody you loved? What kind of advice would you give a loved one going through the same thing you're going through? I don't know. What is that for you? For one who finds joy within the self, rests satisfied within the self, and whose life is dedicated to self-realization, there remains nothing further for that person to accomplish. The Bhagavad Gita, 3.17. How has your quality of life improved since you began your self-care journey? 
reflect and celebrate your progress. That's a 61, which would be a seven. Self-expression and balancing that out. Oh no, what is that? Do you find joy in yourself? Mm, are you satisfied with yourself? Right? Again, we're going to be seeking that outside approval and all that outside of us if we're not first begin within and accept ourselves as we are. Right? And we love it. We love it in the changing. I don't know. What is that for you? Right? Celebrate that progress. How has your quality of life improved since you began watching the Daily Prom? Ah! <laughs> Have you been doing that work since you've actually been acknowledging yourself and that little inside and given that care? Right. How, how, you know, recognizing your own needs and how are you can fulfill them for yourselves. Or maybe you need to ask for help and reach out because I can't do that for myself. Right. They got all these self massaging tools and things like that. I can go like this and rub and then oh, this side tightens. I go rub and then that side tightens up. So, you know what? For myself, <laughs> self massage does not work for me. So I would need help with that massage okay thank you very much i can't afford it. anybody want to come offer them for free thank you very much. Uh, here we grow low self-esteem is like driving through life with your handbrake on maxwell maltz compose a letter to your future self who do you think you'll be 10 years from now that's a 32 that's a five so it's those changes it begins within and again i've said that before and i learned that in in a woman's self-esteem group that low self-esteem is also a form of vanity 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 because you're concerned with what others are thinking about you good or bad and ugly and different whatever your main focus is how others are thinking about you we were told um there's this little experiment thing you know just a reflection okay you're walking down a busy street say downtown wherever you are yeah, maybe they got sidewalk things out restaurants you know have their stuff on the sidewalks Whatever the outside. But anyways, you walk by, you kind of stumble or whatever, and at the same time, a group starts laughing. What's your first thought? Right? Some people would say they're laughing at me because I fell or whatever. Maybe they told the joke at the table, right? But when we first, our first thought is that they're laughing at me, right? Again, we want to be centered in the self, but not self-centered. Okay? The world does not revolve around us, right? We're part of humanity. We're not all of humanity. I don't know. What is that for you? Together, we're all of humanity. Okay, whatever. Right? We're each on our own in the biannual journeys. We're all part of the bigger human journey. We're part of this collective story of humanity. Yes, you are. Okay, don't argue with me. I tell you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're an alien being, but you came down to join humanity and be human here now okay this is what we're learning learning to be human here now okay so let's retreat if we think there's anything other than that learn it just to be the best human you could be right spiritual beings having a human experience learning what it is those feelings those physicality and stuff in spirit we don't have that physicality I don't know what is that for you well, I've never been there don't know till we get there that's what I believe so that's why we get to choose what we believe to each their own we'll find out when we get there now won't we Right? That's the law. We're all going to get there. We're all born to die. Oh, no. We're all born. We're all going to die. That's just part of that cycle. That's cycles of life. So let's retreat if we think it's any different. I don't know. Take that time to rest when we're getting too caught up in everything. Ah, right? The time to rest is when you don't have time for it. We're having that compassion for ourselves because we're trying to rush, 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 rush. Right? I say I'm Canadian. I ain't Russian. R-U-S-H-I-N. I don't know. What is that for you? Purifying, letting go of all that we're not releasing all that we're not embracing, all that we are, right? Seeing all the allies and support, becoming our own best ally and support. Because we have to open up to that. We have to trust ourselves to open up and ask for help, right? We have to get this little trust again. Get this little insight to trust these adults on the outside. Mm, and that's how we get that inner peace. And look at that, 111. And here we are, 111, November 1st. It's a self-esteem, building up that confidence. Not just the confidence in ourselves. It's not just about ourselves and seeing that we're all unique beings here. We're all weirdos, wonderful individuals, exuberantly reflecting divine originality. I don't know what's that say to you. That's how we have that inner peace, that calm. If we're trying to be something else, we take that breath. We retreat. We go in. What is it that I need at this time? What am I trying to push for? 
Oh no. What is that for you? If I'm being compassionate with myself as I would be with others, what would I say to a trusted friend or to, to a loving friend that might be in the same situation? How would I talk to them? Maybe I could do that for myself. I don't know. Look at that. And that self-esteem. I love Moose. Moose knows who Moose is, right? Moose is it's, it's about connecting with the same sex, too. The only time they kind of interact with the opposite sex is during that mating season and whatever, right? Moose knows, right? I love I love that. I love saying that. So, guys, uh, you know, Moose will get out on the road and don't that Mack truck honk because Moose will think that Mack truck is a cow. Uh-huh. Uh, so what is that for you? Beautiful beings. You're seeing that inner inner peace. By knowing and accepting yourself fully, holy, and true, just as you are, right? We're just being who we're, we are. We're not just going out there trying to prove who we are. We're just being who we are. And we're loving ourselves and showing ourselves the same compassion that we would show all of our loved ones. All right, we're going over again. Here we are. It's at 11. Biggest heart hug ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through and everything you do. Do you know what this world needs you? Just to be you, holy, holy, and true. Don't let this world miss out and all that's you. I'm so glad you're here. 11, 11. So glad you choose to stay. Every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Make this another one. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.